Hello friends, welcome back. It's me, Mrs. Itis. I'm so happy you're here today. So we're going to continue to do some directed drawing lessons today using our shapes and our lines, of course. And we are going to make the shape of a very important symbol of our country. It's the Statue of Liberty. So before we begin, I want to make sure you have your blank piece of paper ready and your flare pen and your colors. And we're going to read a story called L is for Liberty by Wendy Shayette Lewison and illustrated by Laura Freeman Hines. So Wendy Lewison is the author. She wrote the story. And Laura Freeman Hines is the illustrator who drew all of the pictures. Now this story has a lot of facts. So it's a nonfiction story. L is for Liberty. L is for Liberty, the Statue of Liberty. She stands in busy New York Harbor, strong and proud, one of the tallest ladies in the world. Boats sail around her. Look at all these boats around the Statue of Liberty. Have you ever gone to see the Statue of Liberty? People come from near and far to see her. Welcome to America, she seems to say. Welcome to the land of liberty. What is liberty? Liberty means being free. When you are free, you can believe what you want and become what you want. So can everyone else. The Statue of Liberty stands for freedom, just like the American flag. It's a symbol of our country. Because America is a free country, many people want to live here. They come from all over the world to make our country their home. Long ago, before there were airplanes, people came to America on ships. They sailed all the way across the wide ocean. When they reached New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty was there to greet them. Wow. What amazing trip. The Statue of Liberty came here on a ship too, but she was too big to fit, much too big. Her nose is bigger than you are. Her arm is longer than three cars. So she was sent to America in pieces, packed in more than 200 boxes. After she got here, people had to put her all together again just like a giant puzzle. When they were finished, she stood 151 feet tall. That's as high as a 15-story building. Wow, so tall. The Statue of Liberty was given from the people of France. They sent her to the United States after our country turned 100 years old. She was a great big birthday present. Do you know what day is our country's birthday? It's the 4th of July. That's the day the United States was born. People all over the country celebrate. There are parades and picnics and fireworks. Lots of fireworks. Look how beautiful. Our country's birthday, July 4th, is written on the Statue of Liberty. It is on the tablet under her left arm. Something else is written on a plaque inside the base of the statue. It is a poem by the woman named Emma Lazarus. She wrote it more than a 100 years ago. The poem welcomes people to America to come here and be free. The Statue of Liberty holds out hope that people everywhere can be free. In her right hand is a bright torch. She holds it high over her head. So the flame of freedom can light up the world. The end. Isn't that a beautiful story? Now I want to show you something, friends. When we see the, the Statue of Liberty today, 
she kind of looks like this lightish green color. But I noticed in the story that on this page, she looks kind of like an orangey golden color. That's because she is made out of copper, just like the pennies we were counting. So the thing is, copper, real copper, when it's out in the air and there's oxygen all around it, it turns green. That's why she's green, because she's almost made of pure copper. So with all of the ocean air around her and the wind blowing by, her copper color turned to green. That's why she has a light green color to this day. So let's go ahead, friends, and get ready to draw our Statue of Liberty. Now, the Statue of Liberty is not as hard to draw as President George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. In fact, we're going to use some simple shapes and lines to make the Statue of Liberty today. So let's go ahead and get ready. Make sure your paper is vertical, up and down. Make sure your cap is on the back. And let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to make her in New York Harbor. So this is the center of our page and we're gonna start just a tad bit higher. And the first thing we're going to make is a U shape, just like that. Then we're going to close the top of the U shape. Ta-da! Now we're going to make a diagonal out and a diagonal out. This is going to be the Statue of Liberty's crown. All right? Now we're going to make some zigzags. So we're going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. And we're going to close it. There we go. So we have some zigzags on top of the Statue of Liberty's head, and it looks like a crown. There we are. Now, we need to make her hair. So, right here at the top, you're going to make a little curve and a bigger curve. A little curve and a bigger curve. You try. Great job, friends. And now to the sides, we're going to make Diagonal, diagonal, and then we're going to make a diagonal in and a diagonal in. And then we're going to put one, two lines down on the left and the same on the right. One, two lines down. Very good, friends. Very nice. Now we're going to make her body. So here under her chin, we're going to make a line across. Just like that, simple, simple. Then we're going to make a diagonal line down. It's pretty long. And then a diagonal line down. Great job, this is going to be her dress. Okay, now. We're going to make a line across that just sticks out a little bit on each side, and you're gonna see why. So make a line across and extend it out just a tad bit. Then you're gonna make a little line down and a little line down, and then a line across. Good job. Then we're going to make a line down and a line down. We're making the pedestal because see, she is on top of a pedestal. It's a special building here where you can go inside. Then she's on an island. So we're gonna make a curved line underneath. A curved line because she's on a little island in the middle of the harbor. And we're going to put some wavy water lines all the way across. And we can add some more waves. Good, great job, my friends. All right, we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and add her eyes so we can make one, two little ovals and her nose. 
and a smile. Great job. Now, her gown looks very flowy and it looks like it has lots of curved lines. So we're going to make a big curved line down and then two curved lines at the top. Great. And maybe two more lines here on the right. And we can even put a wavy line down. Great job, friends. Now, one of her arms is holding a book. So we're going to make a rectangle shape here, kind of like a diagonal rectangle. Can you do that? Great job, friends. Then from this corner to the book, we're going to make a diagonal line, like that's her arm. And then here at the tablet, we're gonna put a curve, like it's her hand holding it. And we know July 4th is on her tablet. So let's just put some wiggly lines there. Very nice. And then in her other hand is the torch and she's holding it up high with her arm. So we are going to make a diagonal going up and another diagonal going up. And then here we're going to put an oval shape. And from that oval shape, we're going to make the flame. So make a curved line to the oval. And then you're gonna make a small line and then a big zigzag and then another small and curve it in. Beautiful. And now we can add a little bit of like teardrop shapes like that to look like the, the fire shape, the flames, just like this, like the torch. Excellent, friends. Wow, this is looking so much like the Statue of Liberty. Let's put some little curves here on the arm and maybe one little curve there. Great job. Okay, now we need to fill in the rest of the pedestal and then the harbor. So let's make three rectangles. One, two, three. Those are like the windows and the columns that we see. And then let's go ahead and add some more water lines because she's surrounded by the harbor. So if you're looking at a distance, you'll see the water keeps going and going and going into the horizon. Good, just like that, to the middle. Then you can write your name at the bottom. Of course, my artists, please sign your name on your beautiful work. And Let's add some clouds and then maybe a sunshine. So to make an easy sunshine, come to the corner and make a curve and then make some dashes. Maybe a small dash, a long dash, small, long. There we go. And you can make a curvy cloud shape. Maybe one coming from the other corner. Great job. Now let's go ahead and close our pins and color our beautiful picture of the Statue of the Liberty, Statue of Liberty in the New York Harbor. So let's get our yellow and orange. And we're going to color the flame. So let's put a little bit of yellow first. It's golden, huh? And if we put a little bit of orange there, it'll even look more golden. Beautiful. And since we have our yellow and our orange out, let's go ahead and color our sunshine in. So I'm going to color the center of the sunshine yellow. Oops. Do the best you can. And then I'm going to use the orange to trace the curve and the lines. 
Wow, so pretty. There we go. Then we're going to get our light green crayon, light green, and we're going to color the whole Statue of Liberty. So we can start with her face. Because remember, she's made out of copper, and copper turns green when it's outside in the oxygen. It's called oxidation. Changes the color of some metals. Don't forget her crown. All of the parts of the statue are this light green color. Her gown, too. Look at all these shapes and lines and curves diagonals that we used. You are becoming quite the artists, my friends. Remember, as always, if something's going too quick for you or you need to pause, you can do that and then finish when you're ready to move on. Good job. Remember, you don't have to push too hard, friends. There we go. There we are. Wow, this is looking so realistic already. And the arm with the torch. Gonna color that in. Great, and the tablet, her hand and her other arm, her left. It looks like our right, but it's her left. <laughs> it's like a mirror image. There we are, fantastic. So the base, the pedestal base building is gray. I don't have gray, so what I'm going to use is my black, but I'm gonna push very lightly, and you'll see it'll be gray. If you have a gray crayon, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, you can do just like me. Get your black crayon out, and so, so very lightly and carefully color it in, and it will look very much like gray. Good friends, nice and light. Don't press too hard. One little section at a time. There we go. This is looking just like the Statue of Liberty in the New York Harbor. Great. Now I'm gonna get some brown and I'm gonna color the island. There we go. Get our brown and color that part in. Excellent. I hope you're trying your best to do your wow colors and stay in the lines. There we go. Now, for the blue water, I'm gonna show you a fun trick, okay? If we get our blue and we trace the lines and we press down on our crayon a little bit and we color in lightly, you're gonna see. It's gonna be like, different textures on the water. So let's see if we can trace our curved lines and you can press down a bit when you're tracing, just like that, all the way across. Sometimes you have to hold your paper, right? So that you can keep your page still while you're working. All right, trace the lines that you drew Use your hand to hold it in place if you need to. It's okay if it's not perfect. Remember, in art, there's no such thing as perfect. Everybody's projects are unique and special. There we go. Great, so once you trace all of your water curvies, then with the crayon, you can just color it in very lightly. And look at that. It almost looks like you use two different color crayons. It kind of gives this texture and this movement to your picture and makes it look so realistic, doesn't it, friends? See, I'm just going very lightly. I'm not even pressing. I'm almost just holding the crayon at the end and then just going lightly side to side. Are you trying? It's kind of fun to use crayons in different ways, isn't it? Good job. If you need to do a little bit of diagonal here, you can do that too. There we go, nice and soft. 
The trick is to color very softly and in one direction if you can. See, nice and soft, nice and light. You can go back over it again if you need. Soft, 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 nice and light. And voila, you have made a beautiful picture of the Statue of Liberty. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you enjoyed making the Statue of Liberty. Thank you, friends. Bye.